idea that diversity kills, more what I want to do, particularly for the students of color, is give you your diversity survival kit. <laughs> How do you survive this foolishness? Right? What do you do with it? And I know my time is running out. Give me three more seconds and I'll be quick. One is that you must understand the diversity rule. The diversity rule is the existence of two or more unquestioned, opposing, irreconcilable, and simultaneous truths. What does that mean? The United States was founded upon the notion of freedom while enslavement. Right? For students of color in the room, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You will be expected, particularly in your college classrooms, to be both the spokesperson for your people and the exception. Right? How does that work? Right? How is it in the day and age of colorblind ideology, where we're so pushed to be colorblind, we're actively trying to promote forms of racial diversity? How can you promote diversity in an era of colorblindness? Right? This idea of two opposing truths, we say in our class, we laugh, sort of spinning plates, right? There's multiple things taking place at the same time. And your ability to negotiate those, your, first your understanding that they actually exist will save you. You're not crazy, right? When you're in class and those things take place that seem disjointed, that give you cognitive dissonance, you're not crazy. It's the diversity rule taking place. Two opposing truths trying to be meshed together. And you're right there trying to walk the line, right? So those are some of the ways in which the diversity rule takes place. So my survival strategies is one, Embrace some of the entitlement, right, and all the insecurity. And I do mean some of the swag, yes. You need to have a little swag. Right? Okay. As I'm sure we know, Harriet Tubman once said that she, could have, that she saved hundreds of black folks and could have saved thousands more if she only could have convinced them that they were enslaved, right? My job is almost the opposite on college campuses, getting my students of color to understand that they, they belong. Right? Not only that they belong, that they excel. Not only that they excel, that they're smarter than anybody else in the room. Embrace that entitlement but also embrace the insecurity, right? Know that keeps you hungry. Second, you need to be a self-advocate. No one's going to do this work but you. You need to hustle, you need to grind, you need to work. At the same point in time you're being a self-advocate, you must, you must create a strong network group. That means both your faculty and staff, the amazing folks that have been working here at SUNY Cortland, and your peers, who are oftentimes in a much better position to assist you than any of the faculty or staff are, right? And you have to approach those folks with humility. The ways in which you make these connections, the way in which you make these collaborations is through humility. So be hungry and be humble. And then lastly, is that you have to recognize the local, where you're at, and understand the global, where you're from. So in hip-hop, Eric B. and Rakim, one of my favorite MCs, Rakim, said,